Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, I hope you're having a great day or night in Jesus. Thank you so much for being with us. Hey, hit subscribe, bell notification. Love to see you daily. We're going to be looking at the Dewey Reams Only movement. Dewey Reams Only movement. Now, what is the Dewey Reams? This is a Bible translation completed about 1609, 1610 by the Catholic Church to compete with English Protestant Bible translations. 1743, it was uh, updated by Richard Chalnier. I've done some videos on this, if you'd like to check them out. They're under our Bible Reviews uh, playlist. But there is a Dewey Reams only movement out there. So I'm looking here um, on uh, like thavmapub.com. Uh, on DRV onlyism, I'm going to go back to that one. Then Catholic.com, uncomfortable facts about the Dewey Reams uh, under Catholic Answers, Dewey Reams onlyism, and then under Carm Forums, Dewey Ream onlyisms, um, CatholicInfo.com, Dewey Reams onlyism, FundamentalForums.org. You could go on and on. You've got to be kidding. Dewey Reams onlyism library uncomfortable facts about the Dewey Reams. Then you have like MarianLand.com. Why you should only read the Dewey Reams Catholic Bible. Ask a priest why reverses drop from the Dewey Reams Bible. But I want to go back to this uh, this one. DRV onlyism Savma. Uh, or why this blog supports Dewey Reams onlyism. Now I'm going to tell you this is on again thav t h a v ma m a p u b dot com because it's too lengthy to why this person only uses the Dewey Reams Chalnier version. So, but I'm going to read you just a little bit of why he does. But he's very extensive going back to the source text. Now you have to remember, you know, for centuries or millennia or more, there was the Vulgate only, like the Catholic Church was very big on the, this is the only Bible to be used. And then when the Bible quit being illegal in English, they were burning people at the stake for having the Bible in English. It was illegal for centuries, except maybe for very ultra wealthy people or something that have a Bible in English that like the king would say well this is what's supposed to be used and then when the king james came out king james was like yeah you really just need to use this bible but it really ran everything else off the field just because of its excellency in so many different areas accuracy and its rhythmic tones and on, on and so forth the very language rang with the king james version it created in so many ways modern english but and so you, you've had this, and you've had it in different cultures, you know, that this uh, is supposed to be. So let's go back to the Dewey Reams only on this uh, thavmapub.com. As of November 2019, I started doing all my writings in Dewey Reams only, meaning I quote the Dewey Chowner version of the Bible exclusively, unless otherwise mentioned. The following is a long, rambling, and not exactly coherent explanation. Why. I will say it was really good. Um, if you paid attention to the last few blog entries or even the last two books, you'll notice a shift in my biblical quotations. While in the magic of Catholicism, I use the NRSV CE in an effort to be a rhenic, and in magic of effective prayer, I use the NIV to present as more ecumenical. Past two years, I've been quoting the Dewey Rings exclusively. Actually, the Dewey Chowner, but who's keeping score? Um, for years, excuse me, for readers with backgrounds in the traditional Roman Catholic movement, they shouldn't need explanation, may even come across like I'm coming to my senses. For other Catholic readers in indultarian background or crater Catholics over the age 65 or so, such a move may seem comforting to some and a betrayal to others, as there are many older Catholics with legitimate reasons to hate the pre-Vatican II uh, way of doing things, mostly stemming from personal experiences. 
to full-fledged novice ordinarians, Protestants, and other readers, such a move may seem bewildering because we're breaking with 100 plus years of the most recent biblical scholarship. And the newer stuff's got to be more accurate than older stuff, right? So, so why the Dewey Reams? I'm pretty sure only three people on the planet would have any interest in the answer. Maybe a little more than that. But for all I know, you might want to be one of these three people. Now, I did want to go to the Catholic.com. This is written by Jimmy Aiken. Jimmy Aiken. And uh, Dewey Reams Onlyism. Dewey Reams Onlyist have not only gone excuse me, have not gone to some of the extremes as King James only as, for example, they do not claim, as some do King James only as, that their preferred translation was made under divine inspiration. However, they do often parallel King James only as in arguing the superiority of their preferred translation due to their manuscript tradition on which it's based. And that's, if I was to read that very long article I just mentioned, he goes into that greatly. King James only has frequently argued the KJV is superior because it's based on the Textus Receptus tradition, and Dewey Reigns only has often argue for the Dewey's superiority from the fact it's based on the Vulgate. And this is very important because it's very succinct. Four reasons why Dewey Reigns only is or Dewey Reigns only is. They argue that the Vulgate is superior on four grounds. It's the official Bible of the Catholic Church. Number two, it's been declared free of moral or theological error. Number three, Jerome had access to manuscripts that we do not have today. I do agree with that. And four, he was a stupendous translator. And I do agree with that as well. So it's rather fascinating that there is a Dewey Reams onlyist movement. Just want to make some of you aware. Some may not be aware. You may want to comment in the comments below. Love to hear from you. Do keep your comments to just a couple sentences because we've just been having horrible debates and misuse of our comment sections in so many different directions so we hate to do that but uh, what happens somebody will write a book in the comment section and then if you respond in two or three sentences in their so shallow reasoning well since I wrote 10,000 words and you wrote a hundred words I'm right you're wrong without <laughs> knowing what the arguments are so God bless you Hit the bell notification when you subscribe. Share with your friends and family. Check out our other videos. We'll talk with you later in Jesus' name.